Hey guys, this is actually kind of a different video we're going to be doing today. We've actually got some new equipment installed on our GoPro. We have the Media Mod as well as the Movo VXR10. We are stepping up our recording game right now. <laughs> so check out our review on these pieces of technology as we improve the channel. So some of these things that we've added, and this has been things that me and Jacob have actually talked about for quite a while because we were going off of the standard audio, as you can see right here. My dealerships, yeah, that's where I'm at is I'm trying to figure out what the game plan is going forward. What's that going to look like, you know? Yeah, I've seen some of that with some of my dealerships as well. I don't think you're ever expecting the BMW to do anything remarkable on the outside. It's just more of something I even drove the M340i. At this reflected a lot of what we sounded like in previous episodes and different things on the, the channel where we were using the standard microphone that's in the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Yeah, so hearing the differences in those two clips right there, you can probably already tell that it's a much better sound quality. We still, we were playing through the, what seemed like hundreds of different audio settings before we started recording this one. So we still have stuff to refine on it, but you can already tell it's a much better sound quality because to me, I feel like we're shooting a movie right now because we have an actual mic or it looks like almost a boomstick coming off the top of our GoPro right now, so. <laughs> yeah, we highly recommend it. I mean, it comes with um, a wind muff and that's, you know, nice to have if you're going outside like when you've seen us even in this video. V8s seem like something we're worried about are, are going away here in this car industry and it's sad to us, but Tear down. we have some ideas for you guys as well as the consumers everywhere to help save that. Yes, so watch this video to find out how you can do your part to save the V8. You know, we talked about um, our favorite V8s and of those of the past, and there was a little bit yeah. of wind noise back in those days, but um, we're hoping that with the new product, we're actually going to be able to avoid those issues in the future. Yeah, we've seen other videos and people doing something similar, testing them out, and as Josh calls it, the dead kitty will make a significant difference in all the wind noise, so that'll be... That's right fun to see and hear. It's actually kind of, I, I start calling, I heard it, uh, another reviewer talking about the wind muff because it's just this big fuzz ball and it feels like cat hair. So it, it really, it's like a dead kitty. <laughs> Bunch of dead kitty hair is put together and made into a wind muff, but um, yeah. we're super pumped. We hope you guys really like how our audio sounds in comparison to what we have sounded like in the past. Not that what we had was bad before, but we've definitely yeah. come a long way because if you've been following since day one. <laughs> From Zoom to stock GoPro to our upgraded GoPro now. Right, so we're super pumped um, uh, as well as the Movo VXR10. I shopped around with another brand and it was the Rode Video Micro. Um, now, the difference between those a little bit is it's a very similar product. I think you save about 10 bucks by going to Movo. But from everything that I've read is that Movo pretty much provides a slight quality increase versus Rode Video Micro. And I think that's just because maybe Movo is on the come up and they're trying mm -hmm. to earn some business. But maybe so. either way, I've found um, a lot of these products to be very easy to get to. I actually got it received through Amazon Prime within um, a day. Yeah, so very quick. Yeah, which is <laughs> even considering everything that's going on during this pandemic, that was A plus uh, yeah. shipping. Yeah, because at first it told you a day for the microphone and then something like two or three weeks for the media mod, but then a day later, it's like, now nah, we're going to send it now. We got them in stock. Yeah, it was pretty so. wild. <laughs> we're super pumped and uh, I, I'm looking forward to how all these videos in the future are going to go. Yeah, so the long awaited hardware upgrade is here. So see what we got in store for you guys with the new setup. And with nothing else with us to talk about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you liked this, as well as uh, hit us up on all our social media if you have any questions about these products. I really appreciate them. I think they're going to really help out. Oh, yeah. Um, let us know if you guys have any thoughts on them. If that's a product you've, you have used, uh, put it in the comments section. We'll try and get to it and see what your thoughts are. Yeah, so without further ado, that's Gold Coast Gearhead signing off.